गुड मॉर्निंग टुडे वी आर स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम जम्मू टुवर्ड सोनमर्ग checked adgp jnk site or facebook page you, where all the timings are there that's very important for all of you to check the uh, vehicles from uh, nagrota jammu site is allowed from 7 am so we are planning to uh, start maybe at uh, 6:30 6:45 uh, uh, looking at the traffic condition we thought uh, that it's better to bypass uh, shrinagar where we have been earlier many times let's see how today's uh, journey goes Good morning. 6:56 a.m. at Jammu, and we are starting for Sonamarg. Sonamarg is 3:46 kilometers from here, and it will take about eight hours. This is the road to Srinagar and Sonamarg. NH44. It's six minutes past seven. Weather is excellent. You can see the road. It's really quite scenic. This is Tawi River. Reminds me of Jammu Tawi Express. Srinagar to 59, Banihal 151, Ramban 180, Udhampur 58, Patni Top 102, Katra 38. Besides NH44, there is also Mughal Road, which connects Jammu to Srinagar. And this is Nagrota. One can also go to Sonmark from Udhampur instead of coming to Jammu. Road from Noida bifurcates at Samba towards Udhampur, 10 km before Channi. You can see the structure on the left. That's the elevated road which will connect to the viaduct. And this type of design is a major feature of this road. I think this road itself is meandering its way upwards. I guess this is the part of the road which we were seeing from below. Apart from lofty mountains and scenic beauty, a speciality of this road is the innumerable number of tunnels that we need to cross. This is Ban Toll Plaza. So after Ban Toll, we enter the first tunnel. And the second tunnel. out from the other side effectively these Very tunnels have reduced tunnels. the distance and travel time between jammu and shrinagar by bypassing some of the rugged mountains okay so dhampur 39 kilometers from here we just left uh, the road to vaishno devi which was on the left the road to katra which takes you to vaishno devi temple Much of this NH44 has been made four lane now the work is still going on in Udhampur Chennai Ramban Banihal areas and this road now looks so scenic all the trucks waiting to start because as per regulation HMBs will start much later whereas the LMBs will start so their time has not yet come Entering Udhampur town, it's 8:30 a.m. Had we stayed in Udhampur, we would have missed the scenic drive between Jammu and Udhampur. Tawi River on our right. Now we are approaching Chennai Nashri Tunnel, also known as Shama Prasad Mukherjee Tunnel. The road on right goes to Chennai and Patni Top, and the straight road goes towards the tunnel. This is India's longest tunnel, with a length of about nine kilometers, and also the first tunnel with a fully integrated tunnel control system. This reduces uh, the distance between Jammu and Srinagar by 30 kilometer, and the travel time by over two hours. So this is the end of the 9 km long Chennai Nasseri tunnel sunlight once more This is Chennai After crossing Chandarkot we have Chennai river by our side as we drive towards Ramban 
now crossing river chinab this is known as kroll bridge now passing through a very congested ramban ramban is a good place for having breakfast but we carried on 9:50 am and we crossed ramban a very crowded place this entire area of ramban four laning work is currently going on now we are thinking about having a stop after bani hal tunnel this is panthia landslide this seems to be sort of a makeshift arrangement uh, to protect any vehicle uh, from falling stones from above 10:30 am now bani hal should be within 15 20 minutes and this is the town of bani hal uh, located in ramban district left left okay the right road goes towards jawahar tunnel we took left towards the newly constructed bani hal quasi kunt tunnel also known as navyug tunnel jawahar tunnel is the old tunnel navyug tunnel is a twin tube tunnel with a length a little less than 9 km i guess Uh, but the important thing is it is at a lower altitude than jawahar tunnel which uh, makes it a uh, all weather tunnel even during winter also it has higher capacity than jawahar tunnel there is a toll plaza ahead for this new tunnel this is the toll plaza for the newly constructed navayuk tunnel what uh, 145 rupees one way now we have uh, crossed the banihal toll plaza and proceeding towards uh, navjuk tunnel this reduces uh, the time quite a lot between uh, jammu and srinagar so let's see this is uh, the after chenani naseri tunnel this is one of the biggest tunnel so this is the entrance to the navjuk tunnel Nihal Kazikun Tunnel. Wow, this is a bit narrow. And we are out of another tunnel. Yeah. Welcome to Kashmir Valley. We are officially in Kashmir Valley. So we had to wait 15 minutes at the Kazikun side of Banihal Kazikun Tunnel. because there was an army convoy so we waited till the convoy passed and then we started and this is nh44 going towards srinagar so we are now taking our detour towards kazigund maybe we will have lunch somewhere now and we are starting from kazikun after lunch break at a restaurant in kazikun it's called hotel shahin shah so we are going back to nh44 this detour to kwasigund is awesome to drive on it's indeed very scenic dotted with conifers shanamarg is 167 kilometers from here so we should reach at around 4 o'clock <laughs> we are back to nh44 if you look at the right side there is a queue of uh, hmvs all the trucks and everything now they are waiting for their turn so kargil is 277 srinagar 69 Srinagar 59 and Anantnag 11 km. We'll top up fuel now. This is after Mandhol and Nipora power grid. HP Alpine. So Anantnag is 8 km. The road to Anantnag is on our right. It's beautiful Kashmir. Srinagar is 54 km. So Pahalgam is also on our right.
traffic jam. Such beautiful sceneries you'll only find in Kashmir. Past valleys, high mountains, clear skies. This is Avantipura. Srinagar is 19 and Pampur is 5 km. We have now entered Pulwama district. A large convoy is passing by. That's why we are waiting here. I don't know why we are waiting on this side. Srinagar 14, Gulmarg 68. Again, a convoy is passing, and even if the convoy passes on the other side, the traffic has to wait on this side. Maybe this is a security measure after the Pulwama incident. Now entering Srinagar, but will bypass Dal Lake. Now we are taking NH1. We left Srinagar railway station on our left. Now driving through the outskirts of Srinagar city, this is Naugam area. Temperature is 30 degrees outside. marched into Baramulla Srinagar route and then wanted to take a ride towards Bandipur but the first ride was a no entry so we have to take a U and then take the ride. Now we are driving on Bandipur Srinagar route. On our right is Chilam river. This place is Sumbal and here we will be crossing Chilam river. This is the bridge of the Chilam. This bridge is known as Sumbal bridge. Sunamar is 69 kilometers from here. It's 3 pm now and Manigam is about 7 kilometers from here. And Sunamar is 59 There's one more coming up. A long gun. This is a BPCL petrol pump on the way to Sonbar. It's about 50 kilometers from uh, Sonbar. So there is an Indian oil petrol pump as well, which is almost uh, close to the BPCL petrol pump. It's a lovely drive with Indus River flowing beside us. We remember our Kashmir Great Lakes uh, trip in 2019 when we came to Sonmark. Uh, there seems to be a JKTDC cafeteria by the river. Uh, so let us turn around and go to that cafeteria. After a short break, we started again, continuing on NH1 to Sonmark. This NH1 is one of the most strategic highways in India. Uh, it connects uh, to Kargil and then all the way to Leh. Now we have reached Kangan. We are passing through Naranag. We have been here when we did our Kashmir Valley trek. Sonmarg is 35 km from here. Wow! Snow-capped mountains in view. This is Sindh River on our right. It's very close to the road level.
km uh, from Sonmar, there is another BPCL petrol pump. This is project office of Zimor Tunnel, which is being constructed. This all-weather tunnel will connect Gaganger and Sonamark in Ganderbal district through this uh, Z-shaped stretch of road between these. We got some holdups due to road work being done. From the bifurcation, heavy vehicles and cargill bound vehicles are supposed to take a left and the right is for the outbound vehicles. Uh, but if you are staying in Sonmark, then you can request the police. Uh, they will allow you to go through the right bound route. We didn't realize this. We took the left route and now we made a U-turn and taking the right bound route. This is the last three kilometers to Sonamark. So this is Sonamark. It's almost 5 p.m. now. Sonamark is at an altitude of 8950 feet. Imperial, Imperial your destination is on the left. Yes. Here we go. So we came 341 kilometer at an average fuel efficiency of 10.3.